In a past article, we discussed running an internet speed test from the Linux command line. That is great for testing your internet speeds. But, what if you wanted to monitor the bandwidth usage of an internal connection? Enter BMON, a lightweight real time command line bandwidth monitoring tool. The BMON utility is a tool that provides network interface utilization information on the command line, but in a very familiar way. The BMON utility is widely available, simple to install, and easy to get started. Let's dive in. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of future videos. Most modern Linux systems provide the BMON package in their default repositories. Since we are using Fedora, we can easily install it using the DNF package manager. It is equally as easy using yum or apt-get. Now that we have it installed, let's take a look at the interface. The easiest way to use this utility is to invoke it without any options. It will automatically start monitoring active interfaces. Here you can see how the BMON interface looks with all display panes toggled on. Let's examine what is in each of the information panes. In this view there are several rows or panes of data. The first row, highlighted here, is the element list which shows all the interfaces that you can monitor and their current receive and transmit utilization. You can use the up and down arrows to navigate to the desired interface. The second row is a graphical representation of the interface attributes. By default it shows the RX received and TX transmitted packets. The graphs can be toggled on or off by hitting the G key. Additionally, you can use the left and right arrows to toggle the different attributes to be displayed. The third row is the detailed statistics pane. It shows you all the detailed information your system keeps on the selected network interface. You can toggle the detailed statistics by hitting the D key. The fourth row is the additional information pane and shows you some more information about the configuration of the interface. You can toggle this on or off by hitting the I key. At any time you can hit the question mark key to bring up the quick reference guide seen here. To exit BMON, you can hit the Q key and you will receive a prompt asking if you wish to quit. Now that you are familiar with the interface, let's take a look at some of the most commonly used options. You most likely want to monitor a specific interface when you open the utility. Instead of toggling through to find the interface you want, you can use the minus P option and specify it on the command line. Here we are telling BMON to monitor the EN01 interface. Now BMON will only show the desired interface. The default update, or read, interval is 1 second. You can change this to whatever you desire. Simply pass the minus R switch followed by the desired interval in seconds. In this example, we are using a 5 second read interval. Now the information will only be updated every 5 seconds. You can use decimal representations for half intervals or intervals less than a second. For example, use 0.5 to update the interface every half second. Using the minus A option will show all interfaces or elements, including those that are disabled. You can list the available modules by using the minus I input or the minus O output options followed by the list argument. Here is a brief description of each module, but detailed information on each module is outside the scope of this tutorial. For more information see the resources available in the text version of this tutorial, which is linked in the description below. To select an input module you can issue the minus I option followed by the desired module name. In this example we are using the PROC input module. Conversely, to specify a desired output module you can use the minus O option. Here is an example using the ASCII output module. BMON is a very powerful bandwidth monitoring tool. It has many options and configurations that are outside the scope of this tutorial. 
If you are interested in advanced usage of BMON, we suggest you read the detailed MAN pages and documentation available on its GitHub project page. If you enjoyed this video please support Putorius by hitting the like button, subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. As always a text version of this tutorial is available at www.putorius.net and is linked in the description below.